Okay, so far we've created our sample project, crafted our invite list, and sent out the actual invites. Now we're sitting in the project details section of our project. And we've just sent out all the invites. And what I've done for the sake of this example um, is I've made myself one of the subcontractors so that I end up getting an email in my inbox. In this video, we're going to look at things from the subcontractor's point of view and see what they're getting, what they're able to interact with, and how they use the system on their end. So uh, having said that, I'm going to pop out of this window here. I'm going to pop into my inbox, and I'm going to go ahead and open the email. Now you can see the email looks very much like what we saw in the preview, with the same content, the same information, with the option to view details, and to specify if we're bidding or not. Let's say if I want to view the details, I can click this button, and it will load a new page. And this is just in their browser, very simply, a single website where they can specify if they're bidding, not sure, decline, right? The same as before. And they can also download the package. One click and they download a zip of all the files associated with this project. If there were addenda or other information, other packages, they'd all be presented here as well. We'll take a look at that more in the uh, future. Uh, another note to mention about Swift Tender. Swift Tender always zips the packages for a project into a single file for ease of use and for tracking purposes on your end. Now, Whatever activity takes place from the trade from your subcontractor, whether it's them opening the email, going into the dashboard, or downloading the files, will be recorded on your dashboard in your Swift Tender account. And we'll take a look at that momentarily as well.